Good morning, St. Catherine School. God is good all the time. It's another time that God has given us to be together. And let us begin with a prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our loving Father, we give you thanks for the gift of our life, for the gift of this day, and mostly for the gift of our students at St. Catherine School. Continue protecting them, their teachers, their parents, their siblings, their guidance. At this particular time, they're doing their study at home. As we go to listen to your word, we ask you, Lord, to send the Holy Spirit to be with us. And we do make our prayer through Christ, our Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Last time, I talked about hope. And hoping that you listen to that message. Hanging on positive expectation. Today I have a question for you. Where does God live? If you're totally seated to an, an adult next to you, or your brother, your sister, can you please take a minute and answer that question? Where does God live? As you think about that, and I know you have given different answers for that. I would like to read from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 17, verses 24 to 25. And I read, Paul said to the people of Athen, The God who made the world and everything in it is the Lord of heaven and earth and does not live in temples built by human hands. And he is not served by human hands as if he needed anything. The word of the Lord. I bet now you have the answer that the Lord or God does not live in the building. At this time, I know most of you, you're not able to go to your churches to go and pray on Sundays because they are closed because of all what we are going through the coronavirus pandemic. But our homes have become our churches because God lives in each one of us. God lives in you, in your brother, in your sister, in your mother, your father, your grandma, your uncle, your guidance, and even in me. So all of us, we were created by God in his own image and likeness. So when you see the other person, no matter how different he or she looks like from you, she has or he has God in him or her. And if at all we love God and we want to do good to God, then we've been called to be good to each other. I know sometimes it's not easy, sometimes we become so mean to each other. Sometimes we are, we are not kind to each other. Sometimes you don't want to share your things with each other. But if at all you recall that God lived in each one of us and you love God, then you are able to do good to that person. Just for today and these coming days, ask yourself, how am I going to be good to all those people, even those who are not good to me? Even those who are so mean to me, how am I going to be able to be good to them and to become Christ to them? Remember that, that God does not live in the temple, in the church, but he lives in you. He lives in your mom, in your brother, in your sister, even to that person who is so mean to you. And if at all we can do that to remember that, then we are going to make this world a better place to live. May God continue blessing you. And for those who are celebrating their birthday this week, may Almighty God continue blessing you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Be kind, be good, be generous.